Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're going to take a look at a few randomized Nintendo Entertainment System games. So the way that these videos will work, I'm going to go into GameEye, which is my collection tracker app, and I will randomize three NES games. Whatever it comes up with, we'll take a look at. First up is Trojan, a side-scrolling action hack-and-slash beat-em-up game developed by Capcom. Originally an arcade game in 1986, it was ported to the Nintendo Entertainment System, releasing in North America February of 1987. This game was described as an exciting confrontation with the ancient evil army. The challenge offered, as boldly printed on the back of the box, can Trojan and you successfully defeat the enemy and rescue the people of the world? You control their destiny. In capturing this footage, I can say that this game definitely presents a challenge in the number of enemies and the speed at which they come onto the screen. That said, this is a game that I could see myself coming back to and refining my skills and spending more time with. Next up is Super Spike V-Ball, an arcade volleyball game developed by Technos, published by Nintendo and released in February of 1990. This game was based on the arcade hit US Championship V-Ball. It was also one of a dozen or so NES games that was compatible with the NES satellite allowing for four player gameplay. While playing Versi AI to record this footage was enjoyable, I can imagine much of the value with this game comes from the competitive fun with PvP gameplay with two to four players. Overall, this game is very easy to pick up and play. It has simple controls and in my opinion would have been a fantastic weekend rental with friends back in the day. Next up, and my favorite of the three games played in this video, Logi Man, the Low Gravity Man. Developed by KID and published by Taxon, released in North America on the Nintendo Entertainment System September 1st, 1990. As described on the original packaging, when powered up, you can jump three quarters screens high, capture and use enemy vehicles, including the spider vehicle, which can crawl on ceilings, catch and power up any weapons, and much, much more. Your mission is to take back the robot producing exploration planet from the evil aliens before they reprogram all of the robots and destroy the human race. I found the weapon system unique in that you freeze enemies without dealing damage and then you must stab to destroy them. Along the way additional weapons are dropped including fireballs, boomerangs, force waves and bombs. By the end of the first stage you have a grasp on the game's simple controls and are taking over enemy vehicles. This game has 15 levels spread across 5 chapters, and throughout the gameplay there are various bosses and hostages that when rescued will drop power-ups. Well there's a look at 3 random NES games from my collection. If you've been here before and watched other videos, I do appreciate the continued support. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing.